On Monday, nearly 200 nations will gather in Colombia to attend a United Nations conference on biodiversity. Hanging over the meeting, a shocking new report that details a catastrophic decline in wildlife. In tonight's Project Earth, Ann Makovic has more on the Bay Area experts who are sounding the alarm. From the grassy fields of the Serengeti to the urban jungles of the San Francisco Bay Area, creatures big and small across the globe are under threat. New numbers show how wildlife populations have plunged 73 percent in just half a century. That means in just my lifetime, 50 years, we've seen a decline of 73 percent in the average size of these wildlife populations. The biggest threats, humans and a warming planet, leading to an unadaptable, accelerating change. Species are very often exquisitely tuned to local environments that have taken, you know, thousands to millions of years to, in, through coevolution to kind of establish and create the selection across their genome as to what features are going to survive. When we are changing things so rapidly, we unravel those connections. Extinction happens in a heartbeat. Elephants in tropical forests, hawksbill sea turtles off the Great Barrier Reef, even migrating birds passing through Milpitas. The habitat loss is putting many ecosystems on the brink and threatening the planet's biodiversity. With climate change, these ecosystems are being impacted, these species are being impacted often in a negative way. Um, we worry that, that we've seen the numbers of most birds decline over the past few decades, uh, and, and we increasingly worry that we're gonna lose these species. In California, the number of winter-run Chinook salmon dropped 88% since 1970. The Shasta Dam blocked off access to their historical spawning ground, and climate change threatens the Sacramento River, an important migration route. The water systems here in California really are dependent on how we take care of those salmon. If the salmon survive, people will survive. If we want to drain the rivers, we want to rename them as warm water rivers, people will also suffer. Bay Area experts say protecting the planet's wildlife is an urgent wake-up call that no one should ignore. Dr. Elizabeth Hadley is a global change scientist at Stanford University. We have a moral responsibility to consider how what we can do to stem the loss of uh, species around the world. Katie LaBarbera is the science director of the San Francisco Bay Bird Observatory. Climate change really gives you sort of a, a ticking clock on all of this. And Chief Colleen Sis is the tribal chief of the Winnemum Wintu tribe. We could educate everybody about the benefits of salmon. They're not just a food to eat, but they clean our rivers. They dig down into the gravel and they let all the silt go out to the sea. The hope is that nations will agree to new standards on how to restore nature and halt the decline. There is much more to learn about the drop in wildlife. To read up on the report and get more information on Monday's meeting, just go to KPIX.com.